93.9 WKYS. Shorty the Prince in here, man. And, I, you know, I, I was kind of surprised, Thug, when they said you was coming down tonight doing an interview. I'm like, man, I ain't think Thug do no interviews. You know what I'm saying? Man, we all human. You know, we got to come down for the the the, the, the whole, whole, whole 93.9. And St. Louis, they rocking with me strong too. 100, 100, man. And of course, you got Boss Man with you. Uh, Leor, man, you got, you know, over 30 years of success in this game, man. And, um, you know, started out uh, over Def Jam and, and, you know, made your move everywhere else, man. And now you got 300, right? Ain't that what it is, 300? Yeah, the whole thing. Yes, label, it man. is. I'm very humbled to be here. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you being here, man. So, Thug, I want to holler at you a little bit, man. Uh, we, got, we got Hot Tunes on the way. We got Slime Season 3 on the way, uh, but we don't got a date for Hot Tunes yet, right? No. Not yet, but uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it can happen any day, right? Any given day, probably the day. Party the day. Y'all never know. We could we could drop that thing tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going crazy. You got, you got a few records out here, man. Just, I mean, first of all, you, let me ask you something. I was just trying to look for that um for that power on my iTunes this morning. I ain't seeing it on iTunes no more. What's that about? The who? The power. Oh, power. Yeah, on iTunes. They don't let me put it up on iTunes no more. It's not? Nah. Get it on your Probably broke the track. Guy. Huh? Probably broke the track list, man. Broke? Y'all broke, broke the record? They had to take it down? Yeah, they had to get it off there. Young Thug you know. app. On the app? Oh, you got your own app? Yeah, I got my own iTunes app. Oh, man, man. They better quit playing yeah, with you out here, Thug. Yeah, I ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> All right, man. So I, 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 um, I was watching something, and I seen that you said you have uh, uh, 10 siblings. It's 11 of y'all total? Yes. 11 kids. 11 kids, man. You say, you know what I'm saying, y'all close. How, out of out of all your brothers and sisters, how many of them do you have actually involved, like, in your business of this? About 10 of them. Oh, for real? Everybody involved? What? <laughs> everybody want in. Everybody want in. Gotta be in. So you say, so I see you, you bought everybody a house and a car. Yeah, it's all about family. Okay, so you get that and then you put them in the minutes like, all right, I'm giving y'all, I'm kicking y'all off like this. Yeah, Not, yeah. Next house in the car, y'all got to get. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> 100, 100, man. That's what's up. Now, last time you was in D.C., bro, was probably about two weeks ago. You was at Bliss, man. And yeah. Do I have never seen that club like that, bro? Yeah, so that. Like, I ain't they letting people in through the back door, side door, <laughs> ceiling, Stop, yeah, everything. Yeah. You hear me? Don't tell, don't tell his manager that. That's a, that's a problem. Oh man, that mother was was crazy, man. So when you you know when you show up at at, at these shows like this, man, what's, what's your favorite song to perform when you hit that stage? You hit that stage. Uh, my favorite song to perform right now is my single best friend. Okay. I feel like everybody got a best friend, even the gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the world got a best friend, and, and the club go crazy when I play. Right, right, and and definitely, I mean, and and a big part, I think, you know how I like to describe like your your style to me. Um, when people, you know, have, have a conversation, of of course, about young thug music, I say I think thug uses his voice as an instrument. For sure, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you just you is it and is it like that? Like when you go in the lab, do you uh, think of like the melodies first and then kind of just figure out the words to go in there? Only the, the only the, the brilliant. Know something like that, bro. You really? Yeah, <laughs> my man. You already know. Yeah. Uh, some it goes both ways with me, man. Sometimes, sometimes I think of like uh, a theme, or sometimes I think of a, you know, like a, a fact. Mm -hmm. or, uh, what's the word? It's so simple. Uh, 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 uh something to go, a topic to talk about. Uh, a topic. Okay. <laughs> sometimes I think of a, like a topic, and then and and a point, and then I just find rhythm when I listen to the beat. And mm -hmm. sometimes I, I think of a rhythm and then find a way to put it on the beat. So it, 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 it goes both ways with me. Whatever the vibe is at the time. Whatever the vibe, the vibe is always, always good vibes at all times. Always, always. What, who, down songs. Who, who is your um like favorite producer to work with? I know you, you know, London, Metro, Mike Will. Like who is your favorite? Who, who brings the best out of Thug? Weezy. Weezy? My, yeah, my newest producer. Okay. Weezy, man, he got, he gonna have a lot of, uh, Tracks on the uh, on that slime season three and on hot tunes, you know what I'm saying? He's my newest uh he's my newest Discovery. producer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I signed him, I brought him in with me and under me and you know, I think he's 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 perfect. He got so, a lot of my beasts that's already out, I just can't really think of him. Mm. Yeah, he's serious though. So is he signed under YSL or Yes. Okay. All right. And then you got artists. How many artists you got up under the label? I got like four or five artists. I got one of them with me. My first artist, his name is Lil Duke. Okay. He's on a couple of songs. He's on the, uh, the Dome song on, on Bar to Six. Let's go out there, Dome. Yeah, he's <laughs> with that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I got the homie with me, too. And 
Yeah, man, we just, you know, striving for the best. And you say you and Duke, y'all came from the same hood, right? Yeah. Now is it true now now um I, I I was you know of course you coming in so I'm looking up stuff about you and they say you know you came from a rough area in Atlanta and they say I guess the projects or whatever that you came from they not even around no more they had to turn them down Yeah they had to dismiss those Damn so like how did that work you know you know what I'm saying when you when you go back to Atlanta like are you going back to still that same neighborhood or you know what I'm saying or do you even go back like how does that work if it's not even there no more like The, the neighborhood is, is not there you know sometimes you know before I made it uh, to to the superstar status, I used to ride past, reminisce, you know, mm -hmm. shoot videos in front of it and all that. But yeah, it's it's closed down. It's gated. You can't even get in. You gotta get in there. Like, jump a gate to get it. You know what I'm saying? But damn, so that's that's like that's a real blessing. You made it up out of there, though. Like yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Because when 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 it got closed down, a lot of people got smoked. Yeah, a lot of people got closed down too. Damn. And it's real out there, yeah, real and, and you know, um, since we talking about Atlanta, you know, a lot of people like in other cities, they look at Atlanta as you know. I see a lot of time on Instagram. You know, rappers need to be more like Atlanta rappers and help each other. Like, is it really like that? Like, did you get a lot of help coming up in Atlanta, or did you receive like hate? Like, was it really like you know a helping hand that that really built you up to you know as far as in the city? As far as Atlanta, it's always they always work together. It's always help. Mm. Being honest, you know, before I even made it made it to be a superstar, I worked with Gucci, Tip, G, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Before I even made it to be a superstar, so right. I can't say it's not help. It's always help. It's, it's always help everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You just got to, some people you got to bring it out of them. And mm. Atlanta got, Atlanta don't have like a lot of houses. Atlanta got like a lot, a lot of projects. Mm. So, you know, everybody know, everybody in Atlanta, like 90% of, of Atlanta, you, you came up helping. Because, you know, projects, that's how projects go, you know. Right. You, you, you kill a nigga in the projects, nobody will tell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, every project, well, most of the guys that like came up rapping and stuff, they can't. All the superstars like Tip, Jeezy, me, Usher, Future. You know, all of, all of the rappers, mm -hmm. the big superstars, they came from projects. Right. You know what I'm saying? Projects as in part apartments. And had and everybody got that mentality. Yeah, everybody too. got that stay together mentality. Like everybody from Jones versus South, I'm ready to dive out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then everybody from. The other rappers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody they gonna, they gonna go for their top. So everybody ended up, a lot of projects got closed down. 90% of the projects got closed down. There's not that many apartments in, in Atlanta no more. Man. Everybody just like. Right, when you go back home, it's probably, it's probably a little different now when you go back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let's superstar. So you did mention Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, free to go. Free goo up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't even know if I know like exactly the moment, like, can you tell me that 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 first interaction with you and Gucci Man, like, how he, did he reach out to you? Did he, like, how? how I first re reached out to Gucci. It's uh, it's weird, but we had I had caught for a watch, a Rolex, and I sold him the watch. <laughs> <laughs> and we was in the studio just you know chilling and listening to beats. And, uh -huh. But he had I didn't know him. He just had me sitting in the studio, waiting on him to come so he can sit so he so I can sell him the watch. Mm. And uh. I was listening to beats. By the time he got there, I had, I was like, pull that beat up. You know what I'm saying? I started rapping. When right. he got there, he like, oh, that's nice. Who is this nigga? Right. I'm, I'm the one who's selling the watch. <laughs> just went from there. Right. And he won a thousand. Damn. Yeah. So, that, so what they saying? Like, like next year is looking like April or something, or maybe hopefully sooner. Did he yeah. come back? This year. Oh, this year. Sixteen. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, I'm serious. Hey, so it's already it's hit the ground running when Guap get out. It's running in behind the G wall with him. Already. Yeah, my wall is running with him. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. He back there shooting movies, all kind of stuff. Man, that nigga rapping. Everything you think you can't do in jail, he doing. Man, that's love, man. That's love. So free goo out. We got Young Thug in here, man. And and uh Leor, we since I since I got you in here, Leor, I just wanna I know you speak on it every time you talk, but just talk a little bit about like um you know how how this uh this uh somewhat of a business marriage happened between you and, and Young Thug. Well, I'm only looking for the best. Okay, that's it. A record company only depends it? on. It's ten fifteen seventeen. Ten seventeen free goo wop. <laughs> so, so the only reason why three hundred is in existence is simply to sign the best. Right, and so. That's what that's that's how we met because I'm in search for the best. Mm. 
And and so how did this happen, Thug? When when Leo first hit your line, you know what I'm saying? Because people wouldn't look at you and think that y'all had a great relationship, y'all do. You know what I'm saying? So when he first he reached, doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> I had to call so many people. I, I, I called most of Atlanta. Right. To to finally he get had to, to call him. Ross. <clears throat> Pee Wee Ross. <clears throat> Pee Wee. Oh, Pee Wee. Okay. Okay. And I called him and he was like, hey, thug, you know who Leo is? I'm like, who is it? He like, man, that's the money. He the man. That's the first, he... that's the first man gave tip 50 million. Yeah. I said, well, we need to get him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, get him on the line then. The phone. And, and, and the weird thing is, Leo was calling my phones. I'm like, how you get my number, man? Who the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, you know what I'm saying? Still kind of street type. Ah, uh, exactly, Rondo exactly. Rondo had the number. So, and so the fact of the matter is, is, is when I talk about the best, I'm also talking about fearlessness. Mm. Okay? I cannot sign the best if they're just stuck on stupid mm. doing the same old thing and concerned about what everybody has to say about them right i want artists that push the boundaries that that are trying to um contribute to this art form okay yeah and so not only is the pushing all the boundaries but he spends tens of thousands of hours in the studio perfecting his craft. You see it you see that we're running throughout the DMV. It's hard. Yeah. Everybody thinks that, you know, just being a rapper all of a sudden it's just, it's all just it's, it's, it's flash and it's flash and everything. It's a hard <laughs> job. Mm. Getting up, leaving your family, going to some strange town, um, doing interviews, going to the radio stations, going Especially to when you get money. It's, it's way mm -hmm. to do it cause you don't have right, cause it's like that motivation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like I don't got to. right, right. Means I don't gotta do it. And but you got to. You got to. So like, did you did you feel like I, I guess like Leo was this like a talk that you had to have with him? Like you know you got to get out here and test the people because that's why I said like I was really surprised. Like you was doing so well. Like this is my first time sitting down with you as far as an interview. Like and you <laughs> you was doing well without you know what I'm saying. It's what? not about the work ethic. With he him. was he was one of the. Inspire, he inspired me to do this. Right. I, I really, I feel like I ain't never have to do it. I feel like, you know, I was, I'm so real. I feel like, you know, I don't never got to come to the radio station. If I ever was to meet the, the people who work at the radio station, man, I know I, I'll just, I'll have a tip just because I'm real, just because I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I'm from, I come from realness. You right. Got to get, you popular. You're, you, you, you on the radio too. Yeah. You don't got to wake up every day and talk about thug or play thug. You know? Right. Right. And you got enough power to, to. Not play him and get him not play in a couple of places. Mm. Just for him not saying, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I respect when people, I respect when y'all, 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 man, this, this is the number, the number two city. Yeah. DC, this top. Millions top. of dollars from this little city. Yeah. Two. Nation Cap, you gonna go holler at Obama right here? Uh. I might holler at him, man. I heard, I heard he stuck on Kendrick. <laughs> you say you gotta you gotta switch it up. You gotta have Sasha and Malia jamming to some to some hot tunes, to some slime season. One hundred, one hundred, man. That's what's up, bro. Well, you know what I'm saying. Continue success to you, bro. Thank you. It's, it ain't nothing but love around this way, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very much looking forward to everything you're going to drop. That Slime Season 3, that High Tunes, man, and just keep using that instrument. You know what I'm saying? And hey man, SS3 on the way, man. February the 5th. Stay ready. Thugger, keep thugger. Ready, you know? In the building. Shorty the Prince. Mm -hmm. Leo Cohen. Boss man. We talking big money. Big dog. Real money. Quit playing with yourself, man. 93.9. We in here.